Hey, Big Tree. Today we're gonna to do the chalk challenge. It's a little obstacle course that you're gonna create outside on your sidewalk, on your driveway with some chalk if you have it. Come on over. Now today we're gonna to use a, a stunt double for Mr. Scudder today. I'm gonna to grab my daughter and she's gonna, I'm gonna put her through my chalk challenge. You could steal some of my ideas, but you could also create some of your own as well. So here we go, Clara, step up. The first thing she's gonna do is the alphabet walk. On each letter, she's gonna to try to land two feet on each letter. Let's see if you could do that. Now freeze. Now continue with just one foot. Let's see if you could do one foot. Ooh. Try the other foot. Good. Finish with two feet on each letter. Land on each letter all the way to the end and as you're doing this you could talk you could say your alphabet and now you're gonna stop now look the next she's gonna jump I want you to jump a two feet over fire that's fire she's gonna jump across and land safe now go back and let's see if you could do that with one foot good luck one foot jump you made it over the fire good job check it out next block it says 10 jumping jacks Let's see you do 10 jumping jacks. It's an X to an I, X to an I. Awesome. And let's read the next one. It says, pretend jump rope your age. Let's see, how old is Claire? One. Hmm, did you get that right? Now let's take a look at the next one. It says, land a foot in the it's like a little circle. So every single time she sees a circle, she's going to land a foot. Two feet on the inside, outside, two feet, two feet outside, two feet there, one, one, two. Awesome. Good job. What does this one say? Tight rope walk. So very carefully, she's going to walk on the tight rope. If she falls off, she goes to the beginning. Fantastic. What does this say? Shape jumps. Okay. So now with this, with two feet, she's going to jump to each landing spot. And now keep going around, Claire. Keep going around the tr triangle. Can you do it with one foot? Choose a foot. Good. Choose the other foot. Congratulations. Let's try the square. She goes around. You could create a square, a rectangle, any shape that has four angles, four corners. Good. The next shape is a pentagon. Five corners. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. You can land on one foot or two, two feet. Now this next one is, is kind of different. It says jump and touch a number. So let's take a look at the board first. Claire's going to start with her two feet on that red dot. So step on, on that little wheel of, of counting wheel, and she's going to touch that number one. Now she's going to jump and have her toes point to number two. Where's number two? Touch number two. Try not to move your feet. Where's three? Touch three. Where's four? Where's five? Woo. Good job. Where's six? Six is right there. Where's seven? Eight nine ten good now the big grand finale to 12 good twist awesome next one says 10 squats let's see you do 10 squats so remember you're going to squat down as low as possible keep your chest up good job and the grand finale it says jog and stay active so here she goes. Go ahead. She's on her way. Looking good. So if you create a chalk challenge and your neighbors create a chalk challenge, you'll have a lot of activity to do in your neighborhood. You could challenge your mom, your dad, your maybe your neighbors when they take their walks. They're going to see your art. They're going to see your challenge. Maybe they'll try it. Have some fun. You could write a nice inspiring message on people's driveways. You could just say, have a nice day on the driveways if you want with chalk. 
create a nice, awesome climate in your neighborhood. Stay active. Have a good day. Miss you guys. Call your grandparents, call your aunts, call your uncles, check on them, see how they're doing. We'll talk to you soon.